here is Liz. Um, so again, I'm here with you, and of course, with a new one. Today, our topic is again from the same unit, unit four, and the noun it stands for lesson seven. So lesson seven actually is a sequence of lesson six. The title of this passage is the same uh, of the earlier in the earlier one that is the homemaker and it's the last part of homemaker. So the homemaker two. Today we are going through the passage the homemaker two. So here some of the key words are for you. First one is favor, wildly and then gratitude. Favor, what is favor? Favor means to uh, support or approval of anything. Like when we ask for any favor, like when we say that uh, please do me a favor, that means we seek for uh, any approval or we actually ask for uh, their support, isn't it? Then wildly means, wildly means um, very seriously or to a extreme degree. The third one is gratitude. Of course, gratitude means being thankful or showing the kindness. So I hope, uh, though you know or you are very uh, familiar with these words, still they are, uh, these are really very important. So now, uh, going through the chapter, hope you all have your book with you. So please go through the page 36. Go to the page 36 and starting from the homemaker 2, the first line starts with one day. One day Jarno looked for work in his village and in the next village, but his luck didn't favor him. He was angry, angry with everybody. When he was back home, Natma failed to serve his meal. That means made him shout at Natma. From these few lines, what we can sense that earlier we learned that uh, Jarnul is the husband of Natma and Jarnul doesn't have any work for permanent. I mean, he is a penniless person. He hardly, um, hardly uh, can manage uh, the expenditure and uh, of course, as he doesn't have any work in permanent, um, he has to live from hand to mouth. So here, see, one day Jarnul uh, was out uh, in search of any work, but unfortunately, he he was failed. He's failed to find out new one. And then, um, particularly, if he uh, didn't find any job, then he got angry. And uh, after returning. To the home when he saw still the meal is not ready then you can understand what the situation gonna be so here uh, he shouted at last he shouted at Najma I had a severe headache and a fever said Najma so Najma replied that she got a fever and of course along with severe headache so Jarnul was trembling with anger. The cooking is almost done. Wash your hands and feet. I will bring the food soon, she said. So seeing her husband uh, so angry, she used to told that please hold a minute. The cooking is all about to, it's, it's now about to finish. The cooking is almost done. So it will take ages. Jarnul shouted wildly. So now Jarnul replied that uh, of course, um, it will take much time. Then what do you do the whole day at home? I work and earn money around the family. You can't even cook my meals in time. Now, Joinul uh, shouted on her that, uh, what do you do all the time? That I earn money, I uh, work hard in the outside, and now uh, I mean, what's left for you in home? You just only cook. Even, even you can't uh, ready this uh, food for me. Uh, I don't earn money, but I also know it's Najma's turn here. So Najma makes him remind of her contribution in the family. She wants to uh, explain that uh, if you are earning money, then 
I'm also doing all the household chores. I'm also uh, performing all the household activities. I'm doing from cleaning to taking care of the children. So of course, if you your work is important, then of course mine is not less important than you. So she actually wants to clarify her role in the family. She makes him remember that um, if you are uh, working for money, if, if you are earning money, then of course I am working to make this home like a home. I want to make the members of this family um, to be stick together. I want to unite all the neighbors. So that is actually what our mothers do or what the homemakers actually do for a family. So neighbor before has joining uh, thought about these things, he feels guilty. So before uh, his wife's uh, explanation, he actually uh, neighbor felt the importance um, of, um, I mean, the, the importance of a homemaker's role in the family. So that's why he was blaming. But after uh, that, after the clarification, now um, he got to know that actually, truly, um, Najma also, contrib uh, also contributing uh, the same uh, much as he does for the family. Neighbor before has looked at Najma with so much admiration and gratitude. Yeah, uh, from one point, Jarnal is, I mean, there's a logic in Jarnal's uh, explanation that um, if I'm working hard to serve you in the family, to afford you expenditure, uh, to afford all the expenses, then what do you do in the home if you can't even make uh, my meal in time? That's very logical, but at the same time, we have to understand that uh, the homemakers actually don't sit in home idly. They have a lot of things. I mean, they are actually, they always uh, engage themselves in never ending works. I mean, their job is the thankless job. So, uh, see, uh, when Najma claimed that, yes, if you are earning money, then I am also working for your family. I am also taking care of your family and I am contributing as much as you are doing for your family. So, uh, see, um, earlier we, we uh, have seen that uh, she tries to educate her uh, daughters even even though they don't to go to the school though she is little educated i mean she has a very little knowledge about alphabets and numbers but still she is trying her best uh, to make her uh, daughters educated so i think it's it's a great thing for a, a homemaker i mean they try their best to uh, to give us the best so uh, here the the passage is all about that so uh, an overview is that no matter whether you are earning outside and uh, you are not uh, earning but uh, if you are doing for your family that's also uh, you know considered as your contribution so i mean nothing is less important or more important in this context so uh, so we can uh, we got the idea that the job of a homemaker is not actually um, is not a little thing in fact uh, uh, it, it is the most difficult one okay so we i have some of the questions for you that uh, the first one is how many members are there in the family of course uh, we have the idea that there are four members in the family why did joining angry um, I mean, unluckily or unfortunately, uh, Jarnal was in search for a job, but unfortunately, he didn't get any job or any work and returned with a broken heart when he saw his meal was not prepared yet. Of course, he, I mean, he was trembling with his anger. Then why did Jarnal look at Najma with gratitude? After realize, after his realization about Najma's role, about Najma's contribution for his family and for his daughters and towards him, he uh, he, he felt uh, pity and sympathy for his wife as that's why it, it led him uh, to look at her with uh, great admiration and gratitude. So that's uh, that was all uh, for today. And um, now uh, I have a question for you. That what do you think or uh, who contributes um, more in a family? 
that is a question for you and uh, please try to <coughs> practice the free writing and along with this please go through the words that are uh, already uh, um, given uh, in your text okay i will mention the whole work uh, in the coming box so please have a look on that uh, hope we will meet on the next class till then take care and stay well